in the questions between some people are asking about the node system you're using um, and that versus like the Redshift shader graph. And so yeah. do you have a preference? Is there a reason why you're kind of doing it in C4D nodes as opposed to the shader graph? Uh, got a bit of a chat kind of going on in there, so I thought I'd ask. That's a good question. Actually, I changed it to the material node with this one because uh, here it's uh, it's a bit prettier. And we have here, when I change each node, I have the option here. And also we have some solo button. So if I change, for example, I take this texture, we have here on our, um, where is it? Because I always, yes, solo node. It's going to solo here. You don't have to, 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 to do anything to the output and so on. So it's, it should be the best way to use Redshift, uh, but uh, there is some stuff. Well, as you can have you have seen here the on the ramp, uh, the ramp need to be tweaked. We don't have all the um, Redshift shader, and also it takes a lot of room. Uh, so it's really up to you. And many people still are still using the um, uh, shader graph uh, because it's overall a bit a bit easier it really depends i don't know what, what do you use uh jonas or ellie which one do you use huh? i use so the for me, shader graph yeah see. It, yeah it, it depends um well some sometimes when i create something that i want to reuse um i use the cinema 4d um node graph because um, it allows you to um, create groups and assets out of groups that you can reuse but um, as Lionel already uh, mentioned um, not all of the redshift nodes are available in the cinema 4d um, nodes um, editor so that's why i usually stick to the redshift shader graph um, also i like the the layout and the usability of the other one much more. Yeah, that's the same here, same here. So that's very interesting to, to note yet. Yeah, you, you can, um, this node editor, uh, you can create assets, convert to assets, you can group. Uh, as Yuna said, it's very, very useful, something we can't really do. Well, kind of, it's not as powerful as this one. So we really hope uh, they're going to, we're going to have all the, the Redshift node inside the Cinema 4D node. Uh, 